Hey peeps, it's Knox, and today we're here with another unboxing. Before we get into that, I do want to cover a few things. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands. It can make me make weird stretchy motions sometimes. Just me trying to get pain, swelling, kinks out. Uh, I am not signaling for help. <laughs> Please don't send rescue. <laughs> Secondly, I do have several people who live in my household. Currently, it's just me and my kids, but, uh, you know, one of them might come in. You'll get a chance to say hi if they do. And thirdly, and most importantly, my channel supports LGBTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, neurodiversity, body positivity, freedom of religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity, and inclusiveness in general. If this is something that bothers you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not comment, and not subscribe. Just go find a different channel. For those of you stuck around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So what we have here is technically a Diamond Art Club unboxing, but this is one from the uh, Michaels website release. So that's why it's still in the box. Normally my Diamond Art Clubs I go ahead and take out of the box, but I wanted to see the whole packaging because I'm not 100% sure if this didn't ship from Diamond Art Club and Michaels just put their order in with them. Oops, I'm just gonna hit the camera there. Um, or if Michaels themselves shipped out. So I figured we'll just unbox it. It looks very similar to my packages. Well, it looks exactly the same as my packages from Diamond Art Club. So we'll see, I have to take it out of frame here for a second, sorry about that. All right. So we just have the uh, diamond painting inside, no inventory, like shipping receipt or anything like that. So um, if you are not, if you're new to Diamond Art Club or not familiar with the, um, with the coating on the boxes here, this blue strip here means that this is a square. Otherwise, this is usually like pink or magenta or whatever, <laughs> depending on who you ask. It's something in that realm of color. Um, also, all the squares have this diamond painting image on it. The other one has a different uh, artwork on it. Sorry, I'm a little stuttery today, guys. I had a rough night, but uh, I wanted to show this off because I'm too impatient to wait. Also, it will say squares right here and have a square around this particular logo. It will be round if it is around. We are unboxing today Star Maker by Yume Art. It is a 51 by 76. Um, this right here where it says AB just shows that there are ABs amongst the drills. So let's get into this. I've also gotten really used to uh, unboxing with Virgil. <laughs> my flow is all off doing this by myself today. So that may be part of my stutteriness. Like I know how to handle these by myself just fine. I just haven't done it in a while. <laughs> but um, we will be doing some more unboxings together here pretty soon. So here's the toolkit. Which I will show you in just a second. Uh, that should be the entire contents of the package. So, again, for those who are new to Diamond Art Club, the uh, toolkit comes with two plates of these heart wax that you can see right in here, a pin squishy, blue pin. Because it's a square, it comes with sharp tweezers. These are very sturdy metal ones, not bendy or plastic ones. Um, it comes with baggies and a clear boat. Oh yeah, and four thin, uh, four placer, thin multi placer. You also get this little sticker, which gives you the information of the kit, which I just read off to you a second ago. Uh, you can use this for your logbook, or what I do is stick it on the bottom of my box because the way I store my diamond paintings has the bottoms of the box most visible and putting this on the bottom helps me see what's in the box. All right, let's get into this package. Try to do this all in view. Usually Virgil's talking 
during this so I could do this off camera, but I don't want to leave you guys just staring at my table while I open things. All right, so <laughs> plunk somewhere in here should also be my sticker sheet. Hopefully, let's find out. There's my sticker sheet. All right, so let me roll this real quick. I can't do that on camera. I am not that talented to lean over my tripod and roll a canvas. <laughs> now Diamond Art Club uses poured glue, which is the reason why I can roll my canvas backwards and not worry about damaging it. If you are working with a double-sided adhesive, please do not roll your canvas backwards to straighten it out. You could potentially damage the glue. I'm going to put this upside down first so we can look at the sticker sheet. So this is also set up for a logbook. So if you want to peel this off, stick that in there, it will have your start date, end date, all the same info about the canvas. Also, these are peelable labels to put on containers. This has 33 colors and two ABs. With Diamond Art Club, you can always tell which ones are ABs because it's anything under DMC code 150. So it looks like we've got a yellow and a white, but I will show you those here in a little bit. Let's look at the actual canvas. I'm so excited. You may art is quickly becoming one of my favorite artists. I've already completed two of those canvases and I got wires in the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> wires all over my table. Oh my God. This is so pretty. I had to have this tiger. I had to have it. And the coloring choices they did actually like brought out more vibrant tones than the original artwork did. I mean, there's pretty vibrant tones in the original artwork, but usually, not usually, I shouldn't say usually, there's frequent amounts of times where I may really enjoy the rendering, but still would prefer the original artwork. But, you know, obviously I can't diamond paint it to look exactly like the original artwork. This is one time where I saw the rendering and was like, wow, they actually improved the original artwork. <laughs> so I'm really excited. Um, I have the uh the blue tiger dream from jojo's arts up on my wall over there actually and these two will be nice companions so this is the point in which i'm gonna pretend i showed you this but nobody really cares about that um <laughs> i am going to show you guys the drills now i know there's a fair amount of you who don't like looking at all of the drills you just want to see the ab's and where they go so for those of you who want to skip looking at drills and go straight to me hunting out where all the ABs go, there will be a timestamp right there. Also, for those of you who do not like the sound of the crinkling when I open this package, I will put a mute button or a mute icon, whatever, up in the corner. Uh, when that turns off, it is officially safe to unmute and rejoin the video. So, ready, set, go. Try to be quick about this. <laughs> I am really off my game today, guys. I apologize. I'm having another high pain day, which is why I had a rough night last night. But, uh, all done with that. Seriously, though, let me show you. I'm going to knock into this tripod, like, all day today. Look at that color palette. It is so pretty. All right. So let's start with this strand. The big, heavy one. <laughs> So we have got 310. Those are very shiny 310s, like ridiculously shiny 310s. Okay, so 310, we've got one, two, three, four, five bags of those. 939. We've got three bags of those. 796. 820. This is my favorite blue. And we got two bags of those, so that's nice. And here's our first AB, 141, which is the white I was talking about. For those of you who don't know what an AB is, uh, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. You see that extra shiny, colorful coating on the top there? That's what that is. It uh, just makes them 
shine brighter, reflect colors off the drills next to them. Just gives your canvas a little extra pizzazz. We've got 322, 334, 797, another 797, 779, 895, 890, and 712. Let's do this strand. Uh oh. <laughs> so, more 310. How many bags did I say there were before? Five? So, come on, focus. So, there are two more bags of 310 over here. 823. Three bags, four bags, five bags of 823. Plenty of 823 and 310 then. All right. And now for the itty bitty bits. We've got. 3775, 7, 782, 647, 814, 743, 131. So there's our other AB and I gotta say I'm mildly, I expected very little of this because there's not much of that color on the canvas, but that is sad. <laughs> That's one of the two ABs, I'm sorry, but that is, that almost doesn't count as having a second AB in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just snooty, but that that's that's just sad. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm gonna have to add my own ABs. <laughs> and then 815. Alright, so let's get these out of the way. Let's figure out where these all go. So the yellow I just showed you is symbol number one, and white is symbol number two. So the centers of these flowers, of the uh, lotus flowers, have number one in them, and the tiger's eyes. And then two is the, comprising the majority of the lotus flowers over here. Yeah, all of them are mostly that white AB. The uh, white spots in the tiger's tail. Oh, let's see, nothing there, but there's a fair chunk right in here. All along here. All these white spots along the sides. On the cheeks. Pretty much anywhere you see white, there's a fair amount of white ABs. So, they did at least give a large quantity of that, I guess, to balance the small quantity of yellow. I don't know, I feel like they lost an opportunity to get some blues, like maybe up along the spine here. So, you know, if you want to consider upgrading that, I would have done, what is that one? That's 820, my favorite. <laughs> so, if you have like 820 ABs, they might look really good going along the spine here, so you can focus in on those stripes bursting out. And... I would also focus the lines along the face here if you wanted to do that. But, uh, yeah, so almost all the white is, in fact, ABs, and technically almost all the yellow is ABs. There's just not much yellow on this canvas. But despite the, the, the lack of ABs, this canvas is gorgeous. It is rendered really well. The symbols are really easy to see. It is a dark... Diamond painting, obviously. All that background is going to be dark colors. There are swirls mixed in more in that upper corner. Let's see, I'll just move the camera. The upper top corner right there. That one is pretty heavily one color. Um, but a lot of the rest of it, because it's water, technically swirls with like black and different shades of blue. So even though it's all dark, it's still not solidly one color. There's still a huge amount of color blocking in here, as well as confetti, depending on what area you're working on, but I'd say it's mostly color blocking. Um, there's a scattering 
of these single placed colors all in the dark water though. That'll give it some texture and depth. I'm very lo much looking forward to this. And yet again, I'm gonna have to talk myself out of not putting this ahead of the line of my current projects. It does help that uh, I've just kitted up my drills and chills canvas and I'm all set for that, which starts on Wednesday. And I'm really excited about doing that one. So it is easier to not want to interrupt my, my flow and my process to start this, but this will be done soon because, oh my God, so pretty. All right, so we, Virgil usually checks up for uh, symbols that might look too similar and trip you guys up. So I will do my best to do the same and uh, see what we got in here. I'm usually not as good at spotting it right off the bat. I tend to notice it while I'm in the middle of diamond painting and then get frustrated. So the closest one I see here is number 29 and 19, but they are blue and green respectively. So it really depends on how dark 29 ends up on the canvas. But I think, let's see, let's take a look. Where are you? Oh, you're really light. So ignore that. Those will be pretty easy to tell apart. So that's a real light green on the canvas. And this one's a reasonably dark blue. So pretty easy to differentiate. Come on, don't lose focus on me here. Uh, P and E might be a bit of a trip up for some people. I think I'm good. Maybe number 22 here and 26 if you flip your canvas around like I do. So overall, I think nothing extreme, like maybe a couple maybes, but generally speaking, I think it looks good. I think it should be fairly easy to read. So that's what we got for today. So yet again, this is Star Maker by Yume Art. It is a square 51 by 76. So it's a little bit longer compared to the width and just so gorgeous. So gorgeous. I think as of right now, it's sold out, but Diamond Art Club very frequently brings back their sold out canvases at a later date. So keep your eye out if it's something you're looking for. I believe they'll also be putting it on their site when they bring it back because this one was extremely popular. But don't quote me on that. I do not work for Diamond Art Club, so I don't officially know. But I think it's a good guess that later it will be available at Diamond Art Club directly, if not both them and Michaels. So keep your eye out. And if you want to see progress on this, I can't promise when I will get to it, but I do put all of my progress pics on my Instagram, which is always linked down in the description box. I will again apologize for the lackluster video today. I, uh, you know, some days are better than others, but I wanted you guys to be able to see this. And honestly, I wanted to unbox it because just, well, you can see why. Look how pretty. So anyway, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this video, please feel free to put that down in the comment section. If you are, or if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. I just ask that if you do that, that you put a polite comment down in the comment section explaining what it is you didn't like so that if I can and or am willing, I can make changes in future videos. If you are not currently subscribed to the channel and would like to be, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell to get notified anytime I put up a video. I don't post on any sort of schedule. I am an agent of chaos fueled by the exhaustion of child rearing, multiple medical conditions, and an ADHD slash autistic brain. So um, scheduling is difficult for me. So definitely hit the bell. Otherwise, this is where I'm gonna have to say bye guys.